The following video was originally recorded for Creative Finance, which is a channel I no longer manage, but I have a lot of content on that channel that I would like to feature on this channel. So with that said, thank you so much for your support and enjoy. With all the live streaming platforms available today, you would be crazy to live stream to only one of those. Because think about it, if you're only going to stream to YouTube, then you're missing out on viewers on other platforms like Twitch, Kick, Facebook Gaming, and so on. And if you're streaming only on Kick, then you're missing out on YouTube, Twitch, and blah, 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 you get the point. So what if I told you you could multi-stream to multiple platforms by using one service called Restream.io for completely free? Yep, that's correct. You don't have to spend a single dollar to do what I'm going to show you today. But first, allow me to introduce myself. How are you guys doing today? My name is David Franco, and welcome back to Creative Finance. This is a channel completely dedicated to expressing your creativity and getting paid for that creativity. Whether you're video editing in Final Cut Pro 10 and trying to get paid for your work on Fiverr, or making logo designs in Photoshop for clients, or live streaming on platforms like Kick, there are so many ways to make money online. Never, ever let anyone tell you otherwise. And guys, honestly, I'm quite passionate about this subject, so I'm excited for today's video. Okay, so jumping right into details, let's pop on over to my MacBook Pro, and I'll show you exactly how to multi-stream for free. All right, so here we are on my MacBook Pro. Go to restream.io. Of course, that is linked right below for your convenience. And as you can see, you can do one live stream, but to over 30 destinations. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't know why you'd want to stream to over 30 websites at once. Honestly, I think that's a little overkill. Personally speaking, I think you're just perfectly fine starting out on the most popular platforms such as YouTube, Twitch, and most recently, Kick. Okay, so getting started, you can sign up via your Google account or Facebook, but me personally, I just did my email and my password here. Okay, so once you're signed up and logged in, click Edit Destinations add destination and here is where you can see a single list of all the platforms fully supported by restream.io guys this is incredible you can stream on kick just recently added which i'm a big fan of obviously facebook live twitch youtube twitter linkedin i didn't know linkedin had live streaming tiktok instagram telegram amazon live that's interesting d live gotta be honest that's a platform I've never really taken an interest in streaming myself, but I wonder how the platform's doing. I think about it from time to time because it's obviously much smaller than other platforms. I mean, even when compared to newer platforms like Kick. So yeah, I mean, I can't help but wonder how long is DLive going to be around? Anyway, you can also live stream to Dailymotion, Trovo, and bada bing, bada boom, you get the point guys. This is a very big list, but um, honestly the platforms that you wanna focus on the most as of today are Kick, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Now obviously there's nothing wrong with streaming on other platforms, but if you're getting started as a content creator or even better, if you have an existing audience, you're obviously going to wanna to stream on the platforms where people are actually already watching. It just, it just makes sense. So for example, for me, I'm already using Kick and Twitch. And guys, that's it. You're set up in terms of your destinations. Now, how do you put out your multi-stream to the platforms that you just chose? Well, guys, it's incredibly simple, I promise. And actually, you have two ways to do this. Check this out. The first one is called Stream with Studio. You can actually multi-stream from within your web browser. This is absolutely huge. For those people just wanting a simple experience, something that just works. Now, for example, you're, you're seeing me and I'm going to enter studio. Now, obviously I'm not going to stream the same view twice because I'm already using it for screen flow. But uh, yeah, as you can see, Restream gives you a beautiful interface all from within your web browser. You even have a donate QR code on the right if you want to accept donations. And here is where you can add your sources. So for example, go down here, share screen, allow to share screen. And now this is going to add my MacBook Pro screen into the overlay. Check that out. And now we kind of have like a picture in picture view going on, which is really, really cool. 
and you can change the overall themes right there. So if you want like a side-by-side -side view, like say you, example, maybe you're chatting with someone on the other window over here, you can make them full screen as if it's your display. And then while well, you can just chat side by side, we also have a cover view, which is really cool. It's kind of like a split zoom in view, which is actually quite similar to how I record my eBay videos upstairs in my gaming room. We have picture in picture, which is a true picture in picture view. If you don't want this color background, you can just do a picture in picture view down there, which is actually really neat. Cinema. I don't really see myself needing this right now, but this kind of reminds me of my older days on a platform called Google Hangouts. And guys, I gotta be honest, I miss those days. Good times, good times. And of course, finally, last but not least, thumbnails, which is actually quite similar to this view, uh, but obviously much smaller. Okay, but hold on, I have one more exciting thing to show you from within this Stream Studio view. Check this out. Add source, extra camera, now, by default, it's going to show any kind of camera that's hardwired to your current device, such as a studio camera on my MacBook Pro. But watch this, guys. I can actually wirelessly stream video, meaning my camera's video, from my iPhone over Wi-Fi. Add camera. We're going to accept that. And now, look at that. You are now seeing my iPhone camera which is far, far better quality than my studio display camera. Guys, look at that. We have depth of field. We have a nice blur effect. The lighting looks absolutely awesome. So this could be great if you mount it to your monitor or somewhere on your desk. And while you can stream your gameplay or anything you're showing on your screen and use your iPhone wirelessly as a webcam. Now, of course, if you're going to do this, I recommend you actually connect it to a power source for obvious reasons. You don't want your battery dying. But guys, this is absolutely incredible. And of course, if you want to hide your source at any time, you just do that. And if you want to go full screen on your first camera that you added, you just hide your actual display. And then we're back to the default camera that I started with. Guys, this is a really cool experience. And honestly, I know it sounds like I'm sponsored by Restream. They don't even know I exist. Honestly, they don't know I exist. They've never heard of me, but I just think this is a really cool one-stop destination for those looking for a simple solution if you just wanna share your screen. But with that said, what if you wanted so much more control? Well, let's back out of Stream Studio and go to OBS. This is where the magic truly happens. I'm a big fan of OBS. I use it all the time. I even have it on my Mac down here because sometimes I record videos here. So let's open up OBS and by default, Restream is going to give you an RTMP URL as well as a stream key right here. This is something you do not want to share with others. So for example, if person B, meaning your person A, if person B gets hold of your stream key, he or she can stream using your stream key now, I don't know why they'd want to do that, but for obvious reasons, guys, you're going to want to keep this secret. So you just simply copy, you go into OBS, right? Click settings, stream. Now, if you want to do a custom service, you type in the URL or just copy the one they just showed you on Restream and your stream key. We're going to copy that, paste, and by default, OBS is going to hide it, but if you wanted to automatically log into Restream, check this out. You simply click Restream.io, connect account, recommended. We log in using our credentials. I'm not a robot, I swear. Allow, authenticating, and now we are good to go. We are fully set up in OBS. Now, of course, the rest is up to you, meaning you have to set up your screens, your sources, but everything you see here will actually be outputted to Restream, guys. Like, th this is really cool. Meaning, my viewers on Kick and Twitch will both get access to my live stream. We're just gonna resize this. Okay, so keep in mind, I don't stream from down here. So what you're seeing right now is a complete mess, at least when you compare it to my setup upstairs. Uh, but you guys get the points. Now, what if you wanted to see the chat for all the streaming platforms you're streaming to? Go up to Docs, click Chat, and actually by default this is showing, but stupid me, just close it for whatever reason. You simply drag it on the side of your main window, 
And now here, when people chat on either Twitch or Kick, or for you maybe, YouTube, Facebook Gaming, Trovo, DLive, all those services, everything will show up in a unified chat, which I think is absolutely incredible. So this means that you don't have to keep up multiple windows at all times for Twitch, YouTube, Kick, Facebook, Trovo, DLive. You guys get the point? Like this is literally a one-stop chat within OBS, and it keeps it so convenient. And of course, if you want to chat as a Twitch streamer, you simply change your source to Twitch. Now, unfortunately, Kick as of today is read only, so I can't chat in this chat window as a Kick streamer or a Kick viewer. Um, but this is a great start, guys. And honestly, it could not be simpler. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I realize not everyone is as techy as me or as the next person. So with that said, if you have any questions regarding how to multi-stream, just comment right below and I guarantee you I will respond to you within 24 hours. I'm here to help you guys because I know you're helping me by watching my content and I appreciate it very much. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Happy restreaming or multi-streaming in this case. And I'll talk to you soon.